Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our show, please like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. We're also on Instagram. The bell is currently at the Bell Repair Shop. True story. We're also <laughs> on Instagram at Sidley Twins. And you can also find us on Twitter X. I knew that would get you. Well, I feel like you want more <laughs> jobs, but I've tried splitting the intro with you, and you've always said, this is stupid. I feel like I we could do a better it. intro. Okay. Why don't you stupid? write something? Maybe I should. Yeah. Wow. It's the first time I've ever heard her say that. Yeah. Right Every time something. I write something down, you go, oh, God, do we have to do that one? Okay. We'll write something. At then. the Coba. We had more lemons being delivered to semi-celebrities yesterday. And when I say lemons delivered, I am completely forgetting there's jam in this thing. I am just fixated on the fact that there's lemons. <laughs> but before we get to that crap, let's talk about the wonderful, the lovely Prince William. He went on his first engagement since we finding out that uh, Princess Catherine has cancer and they've been on sort of like Easter spring break this whole time. And this is his first time back joining the inspirational surplus to supper and seeing how they redistribute 25,000 meals a year across Surrey and West London. That is a lot of meals for that small massive area. So mm -hmm. that's pretty amazing. A brilliant model for sustainability, fresh food, that would otherwise have gone to waste is distributed for free to support food banks, schools, care homes, shelters, clubs, and religious organizations across the local community. What's great about this is you can't do this in America. I know you can't yeah. do this in Oregon. Grocery stores have to throw out like day old Bread. expired cheese even though it's still good even though it'll last for like for another month or like bagels that are too stale they they literally have to throw it out and there's there's a thing in portland called dumpster diving and it's so sad because these homeless people are are going into dumpsters to salvage this food so it's a great it's a great idea in theory but america of course uh, being we a, just throw our food we away. a <laughs> lot of food we do it's ridiculous it's, i mean it's crazy it's sad. And, and we put a lot of preservatives too in our food yeah. that is making our children obese i remember going to italy for two weeks and i i was only eating pasta and i lost 10 pounds yeah because i lost 10 pounds. fresh there you got the fresh mediterranean and everything and everybody you know spends two hours at lunch yep just drinking and talking and enjoying themselves. They're not eating a Big Mac yep. while driving their car. Yeah. You know, it's digestion. Like, yeah, UK is doing something right because yeah. uh, th this this organization is pretty amazing. Yeah, and to watch Prince William at work. So here, it's pretty hot. He's very hot. <laughs> so yeah, get ready. So here's the video that Kensington Palace put out, uh, just highlighting the day that he had. It's really sweet. Let's go. <laughs> Surplus to Supper is a fundraising entity to support the local food bank in the Spelthorne area. We make meals using surplus food. We use what we have in a ready, steady, cooked type of vibe, and we make about two and a half thousand meals a week. By having the variety of food that we do and understanding the projects and exactly what they need, we can make sure that we give the right amount of food to the right people, making sure that their access and what they need so that there is no waste. For me, it's a big thing. So a lot of people cannot afford to eat nothing. So what I'm doing, everything is with my heart. I'm doing with love, everything. So it shows you how much food gets put to use, which would otherwise just be thrown out. It can be sent over to the market where people who really need it can get the food which they need. Joe David, so far. Yes. Um, it's very inspiring going to see you over there, going over there. Yeah. I feel like I'm making a difference in the community, especially when the customers talk to me a lot about like, how much an, an impact this charity makes on their lives. Yeah. Understanding what our team needs, what our community needs, and being able to respond to that in the right way. Oh. That's your king. That's your future king. I mean, I get goosebumps. He's just so graceful. You guys are so lucky. You guys really are. And we're not anti-American. Nancy and I are, we're Americans. We're proud of that. We're just saying, wow, 
that country's doing something right because we're, we're going past dumpsters and there's day old bread <laughs> being thrown out. Know, exactly. You know, no, I mean, we, and these are organic markets. We're seeing this stuff. It's not like it, these are high end new seasons co-ops yeah. that are throwing away this food. So here are some of the pictures that they released. He just, uh, I, you know, it breaks my heart, mm -hmm. everything that he's going through right now. And he really does have the weight of the world yep. on his shoulders. He just became the Prince of Wales. He doesn't want anything to happen to his dad. He thinks his dad deserves to be king yes. for a very long time. And he doesn't want to lose his parent. No, no, no. And so for him to do this, for him to come out here, put a smile on his face, show everybody that he's okay. You know, we're all just so worried about Princess Catherine. I sometimes just get like waves Yeah, where I'm just like, Oh my God, I just got, hope she's okay. And he has three little kids that he is basically kind of being a single parent to right now. I'm, I'm sure her mom is helping and her sister, yeah, her but she her needs, parents are helping. She needs to rest. Can you imagine the worry he has for his brother? That video is That's, just circulating right now and people, people are showing a lot of concern. I can only imagine how troubling it must be for him to have seen that video and knowing that your brother is living in another country mm -hmm. and there's nothing you can do there's about it. There's nothing you can do over that kind of control. It's it completely scary. breaks my heart. But it was really nice to see him out and about. It sort of like makes me think, well, maybe Princess Catherine is get feeling better, getting better, because otherwise he wouldn't be out and about he would be with her. Okay, now to, you know, what the elephant in the room, the uh, drunk elephant. You know, there's a beauty line called Drunk you, Elephant. You I like love that Drunk stuff. Elephant. Oh, yeah. I love it. If yeah. you want like clean products yeah. for your face, this is an ad. It's called Drunk Elephant. We can now call Harry the drunk elephant yeah. in the room That's and good. Megan and Harry, the drunk elephant. Hate in the room. to do that to the line. The though. line. Yeah. yeah. It's a great line. Cosmetic line. <laughs> yeah. And they just started making hair products. I, I did. I saw that too. Yeah. It's great. Uh, drunk <laughs> elephant. If you want to sponsor the show, you're more than welcome <laughs> to. <laughs> I'm wearing your moisturizer right now. Uh Oh, the lemon baskets arrived to two more lucky recipients yesterday. Colt, member of Better Up, Mindy Kaling. That's what I call her now yeah. because I, uh, I'm i very surprised she would be part of this uh, Better Up mental health cult. I think it's a cult. Yeah, it's very culty. Now, this is what's interesting about what happened with Mindy's basket. Either Mindy had taken everything out of the basket and then had to put everything back because Megan called her up and said, you okay. need to take a picture and put it up. Yes, that's my theory too. Or her flowers and everything came wilted and dead. just, yeah, <laughs> she had to take it out. Now, I don't know, but this just looked so cheap. <laughs> And she's not I love 19. the confetti comment that you made yesterday on X. That was so funny that you put the party package next to it. It immediately reminded me of, you know, that crinkle pants. Yes. Yeah. So I'm glad you like I that. I can't believe that was, this is $4. That's so, it, that's expensive, isn't it? For crinkle paper? I think you get like a bunch oh, of it. Oh, a bunch of it. I don't know. Like boxes. Yeah. I, well, I don't think it's boxes, but I think you get like a lot of it. I don't know. Bags. You know, you can always rely on Party City. And you know that's where she went. I mean, where else would she go <laughs> Dollar to get Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has it yeah, too. But but there is your your other theory that uh the the flowers and the basil or whatever that thing was around uh came wilted and dead. And what Tracy Ellis Ross did was what you could put yeah, it up. before we uh, get to the picture of the this is lemon so basket. A lot of you were saying, who is this woman? She's Diana Ross's daughter. Now, Stephanie and I know her because when we were kids, we watched this show called Girlfriends. And it was like the half hour sitcom <sighs> laugh track version of Sex in the City. It was, so it was good. such a good show. And it was based in Sherman Oaks. Oh, oh, we loved, loved it. it. It was all on Ventura Boulevard. If you really want to watch a really good series and it's got a great storyline, yeah. but it's a yeah. comedy. Netflix. She's great in it. Is it on Netflix? Mm -hmm. Okay. Girlfriends, guys. I never got into her show. Was it on ABC? Blackish. Black yeah. I never got into that, but Girlfriends <sighs> is brilliant. Love it. So if you do want to watch a good show, that's what I remember her from. Mm -hmm. So here is her <sighs> lemon basket and the the leaves are will everything's kind of wilted the flowers are totally dead now what i think happened was it arrived 
she just forgot about it that's and left I, it outside. That's yes. from the that hot California. Sun. That's what you see. We do share the same brand. Yeah. I thought that too. Now what happens is you leave it out for a couple of days and you forget it's out there <laughs> because you're not going to eat that jam, whatever that is. You're not going to touch that you're stuff. Gonna post it. Well, first of all, it ha doesn't have any ingredients on the back. It's not FDA approved. You're not going to eat that. You don't trust what's in there. No. You got Harry making crazy videos oh, about, no. you know, traveling and doing stuff. You're not going to trust that jam. So <laughs> she left it outside because she doesn't want like fruit flies and bugs because the problem with these lemons is they're not the best quality. They're just from a tree that was in the back of the house when they moved in. It's not like allegedly, allegedly, but it's not like Megan uh, organically grew this tree and she took care of it. And it's, it's not a quality lemon tree from what I've seen of the lemons, but make it as you will. It was probably out front in Culver City apartment. You know <laughs> exactly. how we, you and I and Matilla, oh, yeah. we had a lemon tree, remember that? We had a lot of trees out That's there. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You just go out to your apartment magic. building yeah. in the valley and you grab a, a lemon and you go have a cocktail. They're all over the, the <laughs> block. Yeah. So that's what I think might have happened. Megan didn't understand the assignment and neither did her friends receiving this lemon basket. Yes. So what happened was they all came on the same day, yep. but you open up the card and Megan probably gives you instructions. Mm -hmm. Please put it out on this day. But Tracy Ellis Ross was very smart last night. Unfortunately, she didn't know that I was awake. <laughs> she put this out at 10 p.m. on the West Coast. That's smart. Now, when you put an Instagram story mm -hmm. out at 10 p.m. on the West Coast on a weekday, <laughs> Nobody sees it and then it disappears no like a snapshot cares. and nobody cares. I think that these baskets were sent. Nobody wanted to put them up on their Instagram page. WME got involved. That's Maybe. what I believe. I don't think Megan personally called and said, please, please put this up because on it. There's no card. There's there. no card there. I think I think an agency got involved whatever you got, whatever cult you guys want to call it. Uh, I think they got involved and said, listen, uh, we'll, we'll cut you this if you do this for us. I think it's a tit That's and a good thing. point. That's yeah, a because, really good point. Because there's no flowers there. There's no uh, uh, green. She leaves. had that basket for a while yeah. and she didn't open up the jam. She just no. had it off to the side and they said, you got to put it back together. And she's yeah. like, I already threw out the flowers. The flowers were old and they were dying. What and did you want me to do? She's kind of being funny and passive aggressive <laughs> by saying obsessed because oh. she's sort of like talking to girls like us, which which I love about her because she wrote half of those Office if episodes. If you watch The Office, yeah. that is something Kelly Kapoor would say. Would say Making she, fun of something. Exactly. Like she'll go, she'll go, Jim, I, you know, where have you been? All summer long, I've been watching Tom Cruise and, and Surrey and then Shiloh came to, the, like she'll talk I about. I was obsessed. She'll, I was obsessed with it. Like she talks about pop culture like that. So it's sort of this backhanded compliment. But I believe, again, agents came to her. Yeah. I don't believe Megan called her friend up and was like, oh, you know. yeah, something's up with her basket. But the problem is <laughs> you've got this picture so she can't walk it back. And Megan can't huff and puff and say, well, you know, there were flowers in there because then it's going to look like Megan cares. And you're not supposed to care when you put out press no, boxes. No. I put out a couple of videos yesterday and I'll put them in the link in the description below again. They're just perfect examples on how to do perfect press boxes. And the Kardashians and Jenners know how to do it because the point of press boxes with soft launches is to make the product look flawless and also make the consumer think they're getting all that. Yep. Problem with like, let's say when Kim Kardashian put out those candy chocolate box, yes. remember the, okay, and her perfume was in yes. the thing. A bunch of people then started buying the perfume and they thought they were going to get <laughs> the chocolate heart that you can hit. That yeah. doesn't happen with normal people. That's just for the press boxes. That's for the soft launch. That's yeah. what you're saying. So what I'm saying is Megan's first soft launch <laughs> is a bunch of just lemons. Yes. Party City confetti. Dead flowers. Dead flowers. <laughs> And some strawberry chutney jam that nobody wants. Scam jam. Is it jam scam? Jam scam. Scam jam. <laughs> scam jam. She either doesn't have the money 
doesn't have the friends, doesn't have the resources. All three are probably true, but it just blows my mind because you should know by now, if you want to be an influencer in this business, you should know by now that is how you do it. Like if we ever put out a press box, <laughs> it would be like, we did, we'd have like singing telegram twins. We'd, we'd have, hire twins. We'd have like and, twin Oopa Loopas come yeah, to your door, to door and like Loopa or just do something do. silly. A Here's an do. animal charity just for you. And, and then, then we'd just like, have like a, a, a free puppy. Oh, and then like fireworks in the back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hand them a dog. Yeah. Hand them a, a cat. A free dog. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's no, a that's press good, box. Good stuff. That's a press box. <laughs> what Megan's doing is is mind blowing. No, she she's definitely half assing it. And then uh, sorry, some people Mom. were like, "Well, maybe she's doing this because you know we're waiting now for every day. It's like no, you no. know the advent calendar from hell." No, no. Serena's not going to put it out this week because Serena put today. Serena put out something to do with her new cosmetic line. Yeah. Kim is excited about this new Skims yeah. app that she's promoting that's going to fail. So I don't know. We've still got like Ellen. We got Kelly Rollins. Yeah. We got Beyonce's mom. We probably got Beyonce. Uh, we got who else? Uh, Chris Jenner and. Yeah. Uh, well, have you Maybe heard Jill Biden it. might be number one? Did you hear that? They rumor? did say that, but see, that would be stupid because Jill can't tell anybody she was number one. Could you? I mean, it would make sense. I was She's thinking pretty. about it though. I was thinking if Jill actually posted that, that's such a Jill like, wouldn't do it. No, you're right because that would be such a win for Donald Trump. Well, there's a lot of yeah. No, I'm just no, saying, that do you know what I mean? So Megan's so kryptonite that mm -hmm. it's like, why would you? Oh no! They're Why would you ruin your campaign by having Megan endorse anything for you or anything? It's, it'd be it'd be like at the DNC and then Harry and Megan come out. That's what I'm it'd saying. It'd be like let's just hand Trump the the nomination they're and, and the presidency. Letting, they're not letting Harry and Megan anywhere I, near that campaign. I mean, anywhere yeah, near that. So campaign. I, I I still think Princess Catherine's number one, and she's going to use it to weaponize Princess Catherine in the future. I don't know. I think it might be Oprah. Who knows? Who knows? We'll never know. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, Megan's got to stop with this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this needs to end. Okay. It's getting funnier and funnier. No, because if, if anyone else puts out stuff, it's just going to get worse. It's it, it's like, <laughs> That's why it's, great. it's like throwing extra deck chairs off the Titanic. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, just let it go. Yeah. Don't do anything else. No, because it's sinking. You yeah. can't, you're not going to make this lighter. Okay, it's going to sink. I can't wait to see how much this is going to be because I was looking up organic jam and we're just so happy that High Grove and their sales are going up on strawberry jam. Mom 100%. and dad bought some. Yeah, they did. We're so excited. It's just such a great thing to know that 100% of the proceeds go yep. to charity. And, you know, it's also taking the win out of, out of Megan's sales. And it's probably good jam. It's probably excellent, excellent jam. jam. We've had... <laughs> <laughs> marmalade in uh, the UK yes. and it's amazing. I can't wait to see how much she's going to try to charge for this. Man. I mean, I am just dying to know. She needs she needs to stop this now. She does need to stop. It's too much. This was really a bad idea. <laughs> this was very embarrassing. And then this woman comes out in the Daily Mail and she's like a winner of first prize of marmalade making and she writes this really condescending letter to megan i can't tell i maybe she was being nice but you guys should read it i'll also put the link in that too uh in the description below this is a great article so something else came out last night and uh it was very interesting so her friend kelly zaflin very sad story very very sad so these pictures come out last night, obviously, oh my God, well, filtered, not Photoshop, but filtered. And well, I think a little Photoshop too, because her arm, look at her arm. It looks so bizarre, but uh, not, not Kelly's, but Megan's. Yeah. But also this is obviously a business transaction. Yeah. There's no way that this was not a calculated plan to put out that scam jam. And then this post, yeah. this was obviously put in place yeah. before exploitation of this poor woman who lost her son is just getting worse. Like it's just, it's make, and what you're right. What is that? Where's the uh, yeah. lighting? Okay. I, mean, we, I think Masson took this on his iPad from London. That's what I think happened. But, <laughs> drone. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that is Abigail. Abigail Spencer next to her. And Abigail's probably going to be number two in the scam jam. My best friend. Yeah. But that is classic Megan pose. If, if I had to, you know. Fake smile. Fake smile. Cheating to the camera. Laughing about something that 
I can't think of anything that funny to laugh at yeah. ever. This is just, this is as corny as like women doing the Charlie's Angels pose oh, in the 90s. Remember that? Yeah, or the 2000s? We did, we did that. that was so annoying. So here is, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so bad. I feel awful. I, listen, I feel so bad for that mother because she, re Megan is exploiting this woman. Like she exploits uh, children, African women. She, th this is exploitation. Yeah. So she wrote, when we speak about the people in our lives, Lives who lift us up when we need it with undeniable force of pure love, I think of these two. You inspire me, you pick me up when I need it, and you love like a mother. Megan is a woman who will not bring her children around any grandparents, cousins, cousins aunts and uncles, nothing. Okay. And I don't want to hear friends or family. I get that. So I guess this is a campaign shirt thingy and celebrities like Kristen Bell type celebrities have been doing this all month on her page. And the rest of it goes, thank you for continuing to support the Alliance of Moms for supporting this campaign and our youth. In doing so, you are supporting the mission to build bright futures for young parents who have experienced foster care. In honor of Mother's Day, I hope you support this campaign and love like a mother. So they are selling those t-shirts and the proceeds from this tea support, essential services, education, and advocacy so that young parents in foster care and their children can heal and thrive. Link in bio to purchase. So these t-shirts are, are being sold for this. And then I sort of was interested, is this a charity? I've never heard of this Alliance of Moms. Yeah. It's basically a place you can go to get resources like if you're in the foster community, but it also does like pro bono work, you can, you know, get lawyers for help and food and clothes and all that kind of stuff. However, it's more of a subsidiary of Alliance for Children's Rights. And this is through the County of Los Angeles. And this is more of like the foster based stuff. You guys can go on there yourself and check it out. Basically, Kelly got involved 20 years ago with the Ch Alliance for Children's Rights. Okay. She was on the board. Got okay. It. Now, Kelly, we know the kind of Kelly is a socialite in LA. She doesn't have, she doesn't work. She, this is a perfect thing okay. for her. She's got two twins. I know nothing and, about yeah. her. Yeah. And it, yeah, no, her husband's rich. Got and, it. Yeah. A Harvard Westlake type mom. Yeah. In LA. Yeah. In LA. So, you know, I went on there and I said, who are the founders? How does this work? It's basically a bunch of women who just basically came together and uh, look a certain way and <laughs> had a certain uh, check balance at uh -huh. the end of the month and needed something to do. And, and, and hey, you know, they're raising money for foster care and, and there's nothing wrong with that. So that's what Alliance of Moms is. What was confusing to me was, are they giving 100% of the proceeds of these t-shirts to this place? They weren't very, you know, specific about it. And they're still not specific. I couldn't find anything on the website that says 100% of the proceeds go to this. However, it is a 501c charity, so I'm assuming it does. But Archwell gets a little strange when they start paying their employees and out-of-pocket expenses. So, you know, it can get a little crazy sometimes. She brings up this necklace in the article and she got together with her friend Maya Brenner and they designed a grief necklace. Again, great idea. I love this idea. I think if women want to buy this necklace because they can feel closer to someone they lost, they should. It's a beautiful thing. Here she is modeling the necklace. She's obviously a beautiful woman. She's an ex-model. Go for it. You're you're gorgeous. Now, then I went to the Maya Brenner website because she said that the necklace was made at cost. They're selling it at cost. I was wondering who paid for it. Exactly. So you pay this amount for the necklace, but you're only paying what it costs them to make mm -hmm. and ship it to you. Mm -hmm. The necklace is $1,200. Wow. That's pretty expensive. Yeah. Now, to me, if you're a rich mom and you lost your kid, 
again, go for it. That's amazing. I haven't seen Megan wearing any for the child that she tragically lost with Prince Harry that they buried under a tree. But, you know, I'm sure Megan has one. So she, the People Magazine article was basically promoting the sale of this mm, necklace. Got it. So I'm sure there was a lot of traffic over at this woman's website because this woman not only sells this necklace she also sells all her other jewelry that is uh it goes for like 8500 she can go up to 10000 yeah i've seen i've seen these before uh on real housewives of orange county i remember when vicky Gum gumbelson uh her boyfriend faked cancer oh god and then what happened was she got so much backlash she joined uh this this team of people that it's like fight for cancer or, or let's cut out cancer type thing but what happened was the website was bumping people back to her insurance company and selling oh, people man. insurance so then she got even more backlash so i i get the 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 scam here i get it because i've seen it a million times you got a rich white woman uh, with the means to do anything. And, and she wants to, you know, she wants to hawk her stuff. Yeah. I, I'm not trying to be bad. We're not exploiting the kid. We haven't said what happened. And it's still tragedy. She has every right, right to be to just be grieving forever. It's just, I've seen this type of stuff before. And I now understand because you just showed me all this. I now understand why Megan jumped on this bandwagon because it could be very lucrative extremely lucrative and when you have a husband who doesn't have any money and is a deadbeat you're gonna have to find uh side jobs and that's a great yeah, side now job. they're saying that they make no money off these necklaces no, however no. maya brenner you you get it directed to back. her website yeah it's like the vicky go yeah now i just want to show you an example of what it's like to actually sell a t-shirt and just be transparent about where the money's going. If you're matching it, like maybe, Kelly, maybe you could be matching the t-shirt sales. I don't know. I know that you have a tennis court in your backyard and so does Megan. Yeah. I've seen, I've and seen both of them. Pools. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to tell you how to spend your money. Bridges. But what I'm saying is, uh, Megan is not the best moral compass to be hanging out with. And that's why we sort of question you a little bit. Now, be, I don't know you. Yeah, it'd be like the Kardashians uh, uh, doing a charity. Of course, we're going to question that. We're going to question the UCLA connections. We're going to question all this yeah. stuff. Because this is, at the end of the day, uh, we're, we're talking about cancer patients. We're talking about foster kids. We're talking about moms in need. Th these are real-life problems. And uh, we, we got these women in Montecito Selling t-shirts. Selling t-shirts that are bumping now $200 back. $200 necklaces. That's what I'm saying. Bumping it back to, to their jewelry line. It just, it, it's a, you're right. It's a murky, murky, it's murky situation. It's murky. Yeah. So this is Dave Portnoy. I know we've mentioned him a million times, but he's raising funds. His peaches. His peaches. And wait till our live show because we got <laughs> all the latest Miss Peaches cuteness. But Dave is raising money for the recently slain police officer's family. The guy left behind three kids and a wife. And he just, you know, he feels terrible about it. So he partnered up with Tunnels to Tower. So he just like goes to a charity that he knows is reputable. And Tunnels to Tower, we all know Tunnels to Tower. And unfortunately, CNN won't have him on. MSNBC won't have him on. Fox is the only one. And so he'll go on because he wants to get the word out. And I, he wants to get to a million. Because yeah. what Dave is doing is Dave is matching dollar for dollar. And he does this. He does this all the time. So here he is on uh, Fox News. And he's very cute. In terms of raising money, Dave, for this family. Yeah, so we have shirts on sale that it's our way of supporting and helping. Uh, and then I match everything that we get. Dana White chimed in with a hundred thousand dollar donation. We've raised about eight hundred thousand this time around. But Frank's right; it's one after another. And Frank's been great. We're partnering with uh, Tunnel to Towers. They're helping us make sure we get the money. Uh, so we've raised about eight hundred thousand for this family. And it's uh, again, it. it it's kind of surreal we're back in this spot, but we are, and we appreciate all the support. Uh, but every cent, you got to keep it going because, you know, these families, they need it. Money doesn't solve the issue, but, you know, it's just 
a tragedy, and, and as much as we can be there, we'll try to be there. And so you match it, Dave. You personally match whatever the Barstool fans do to support this family by buying the shirts, right? Yeah, so we've ra it's been about 400000 has been donated either through shirts, personal donations, and then I've given 400 of my own money to match it. So I'm going to put the link. That's going to be our charity today, uh, the Barstool Sports, selling those T-shirts, because it would really be great if we could get that family a million dollars. So yeah. where he's up to eight, we only need... He yeah. has three kids. Hundred thousand more, and then he'll give the hundred. He left three kids. He left three so kids. He's got a lot life. of college tuition. To come yeah. Up so, do, of... but see, that's how to do it. Yeah. That's how to do it. You know this. The, you know this R twelve thing where we don't know where all the money right. goes, and it's just it's murky. Murky Again, Megan. Murky that, Meg. That's oh my on, uh, on, on X. I follow Murky oh Meg. Oh my gosh. She does the best yeah. YouTube. If you guys don't follow Murky Meg on YouTube, it's though, fun. that she is great. She was like the OG for me when I, <laughs> during the pandemic, when I started watching these videos. Oh my goodness. She follows me now on X. Oh wow. And yeah. I got excited once because she liked one of my uh, posts. Yeah. And I was so, I like, it's like a celebrity. And yeah. I was just like, that's so cool. Well, what we're trying to just say is just be careful, read the fine print. If you're not sure of something, go on the website, check out the people who are on the board. I think everybody has good intentions. That's what you think. Because you're like, well, you're I young. can't. Yeah, you're young and you think everyone has good intentions and you can trust them, but that's not the case. And we, if we know anything, we've seen it with Archwell. So we're just saying that you can trust Dave Portnoy, you can trust Barstool Sports, and you could definitely trust Tunnels to Towers. It's been around forever. You can trust Miss Peaches. And you, yes. I mean, I, I, you know, I understand that only Fox lets him on and stuff, but I have a theory. I think Miss Peaches is going to break him into more mainstream oh, stuff. No. That's what I believe. I don't know. There's snobs over it. Well, <laughs> I'm a snob too, and I love him now. Speaking about loving someone. <laughs> oh, yes. Dun, da, da, da. Oh. It's somebody's birthday today. It is. It's somebody's birthday. Can anyone guess whose birthday it is? Well, I'll give you one guess. He's not here. Give you another guess. Okay. He's down south. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yesterday, mom and dad Sidley, Kirk and Shirley Sidley, left for their vacation home in Henderson, Nevada. Mm -hmm. And uh, dad is playing golf down there happily. I believe mom had a hair appointment this morning. Nice. Right? Yeah. And uh, she might be playing pickleball right now as we speak, hopefully indoors. And it's my dad's birthday. So he is down south having a grand old time, probably going to have barbecue with the neighbors over today. They do this every mm -hmm. year for his birthday and my mom's birthday. They leave. Mother's Day too. I they think. make sure that they are out of town. And I think it's like a guilt trip in some <laughs> sort. No, <laughs> because, Italian guilt. No, it's almost <laughs> like I, to, I told him the other day, I go, you've spent like the last 10 years down south <laughs> on both your birthdays and you don't think we're noticing <laughs> And she's like, you know, and my mom does this Italian guilt thing. My mom's 100% Sicilian. So she'll just say things like, well, I didn't think you noticed. <laughs> and that's I was Italian like, of course guilt. we know. Like today, that's Italian guilt at the Like, best. you know, mom was at the hair appointment today and she was telling her hairdresser, the girls forgot their dad's birthday. No, I don't believe they that. They don't love their dad. I don't believe that. Anyways, we do love our dad and we wanted to share that with you. <laughs> we have the best dad. And when, I know everyone says this, but we really do. We really do have the best dad. He has worked so hard for us all his life. I mean, this man would run three retail stores in the Portland area, a huge company, and then drive home in rush hour, barely eat dinner and go work behind the scenes at crew during our musicals, our high school musicals. So this man is amazing. He's always been there for us, even as adults. Like, I mean, we, I can get a tangerine at three o'clock in the morning. I'll call him up and I'll be like, dad, I need a tangerine. And he'll be like, I'm coming over, honey. I kind of dad, <laughs> yeah, you no know, idea. he's great. He's always making sure we're safe. Grandma he installed I remember, those cameras in the back. He was so proud of that. I, I remember grandma, uh, her porch light used to go out and she would get scared, you know, because she lived by herself. And she would call my dad midnight, one o'clock, and he would just go over, yeah. change the porch light. You know, he's yeah. a good guy. Good he's guy. a good guy and he deserves all the great things that he has now in life. So dad, we hope you have a great day. I'm sure you're going to watch this show. <laughs>
Uh, but we do hope you're having a great day. We hope that one year you'll spend with us. Dad, we love you. We know that everybody that is out there that's watching this too loves you as well. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear dad. Happy birthday to you. That's like with Shelly's. Yeah. That's like, remember Shelly's? They used to sing at your table. We could work at uh, Rhinelander. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They say it's your birthday. Dun, 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 dun. Anyways, Dad, expect a knock on your door any minute with two twin Oompa Loompas and a puppy and a kitten. Yes. Yes. And, and fireworks. Happy birthday. We will see you guys really soon. Say it's your birthday.